We're soaring into the States. Welcome to Tennessee, the home of the heavy hitting Red Bull TKO. It all kicks off in the heart of Music City. Good to see you, man. Been a while, huh? With an epic Nashville night event. A spectacular straight rhythm show race for the fans. Riders and fans alike are into it big time. And in the end, two American Titans, Cody Webb and Colton Haker, go toe to toe with Webb taking the win. From the Wild City extravaganza, the action shifts to two days of knockout riding. First, the hot lap, a brief but intense qualifier. Then, knockout races one and two are designed to narrow down the field where every turn could spell the end of the road. And the epic final, where it all comes together. In total, four fiery races. In the end, one of these championship riders will deliver the final knockout blow and emerge victorious. Let's get ready to ride. It's so freaking hot already. <laughs> it is really hot. It's going to be, I think, a super tiring weekend and uh, hopefully some good racing. It's quite cool, you know, to race um, with all the American guys over here. So I think it should be a mega, mega weekend. Today, Saturday, we have the prologue. It's going to be a hot lap, about five to seven minutes. It's going to be important to make good because we get points for the championship. So, yeah, we are getting closer and closer to the end of the championship. So now everything counts for sure. And I will try to collect points this time. There's actually one really hard hill, a couple rock lines that are pretty hard. The rest is going to be pretty fast and racy, so I think it's going to be key to clean the hill, clean a couple of the rock lines, and then race in between. It's quite trialsy, so hopefully it suits us, and uh, yeah, try and keep the feet on the pegs and uh, try and find some smooth lines. I don't have such a big setup here. My whole team is back home, my family, my girlfriend, so I'm kind of here alone and we're just making the most of it. I'm glad it's just a week, and I'll ride as hard as I can with what I've got. So, and I've got a pretty nice bike and a pretty good setup. So, like, I think I can give it a good shot. Looks like we're going there. So, yes, get ready for racing, yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. See you guys later. We're kicking things off with the hot lap, and hot is the key word. At a blistering 32 degrees Celsius, the heat is on. But these riders are primed for a high-stakes sprint against the clock. For the pros, precision and raw speed will decide the crucial starting order for the first knockout race. Ten minutes, huh? Riders are getting ready behind me. The amateurs have been out all morning. Let's get this first hot lap underway. And who's going to score the first points here in America? We'll see in about an hour's time. Riders launch under the track in 60-second intervals. Manny Lettenbakler, Wade Young, Mario Roman, and Teo Cabaccio are top championship riders on the track. What a peg. Also in the mix are defending TKO champ, Canadian Tristan Hart, as well as Americans, Ryder LeBlanc, and six-time TKO winner Cody Webb. All three know the terrain well. Another U.S. rider brought something special to the event. Carson Brown, a motocross rider known for his epic bike builds, chose to showcase his skills with a meticulously restored 28-year-old Kawasaki KDX 200, an ultimate off-road bike for a rider who isn't usually associated with off-road racing. How's that KDX working, baby? Woo! Sounds sweet. But it isn't smooth for everyone. Mitch Brightmore struggles on a hill climb. 
Matt Green looks frustrated, riding tight and tense. And surprisingly, Teo Kabachev is having a tough time on an uphill session, which isn't like him at all. Oh, no, Kabach Kabachev getting stuck on this one. No way. <laughs> Making up for it on this one, though. Nice recovery from Kabachev. All in all, it's a short, brutal sprint. Just six minutes for the fastest, surprising everyone. Manny Lettendickler, battling illness, still lays down a blistering lap, clinching the best time and the first FIM points. Wade Young comes in close, stunned by the times. Tristan Hart will take third. And junior rider Ashton Brightmore shocks the field, grabbing fourth. The starting order is set for the following day's first knockout race. And that's us done for day one here in TKO. See you tomorrow. Uh, that race is an elimination race. So top 30 only, move forward. Review take. We have three races today. The first two are going to be a bit longer for us, and then in the final, short and really intense. So you're going to have to kind of pace yourself today, but you don't want to be too slow in the first couple races because then you're going to be starting at the back of the pack. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be pretty physical, pretty intense race. So yeah, we're trying to save some energy for, for the main race. Yesterday was a good day. I have a small issue in the clutch, but I was able to make a good run and qualify the third in the championship, so I was happy with one point. So this is where they're all hanging out. Manny's just there. We've got Wade and everybody else over here. Mario and Matt. Here's Tristan just coming down. And all the boys over here. Send it on, chaps. Knockout one is another single start timed race on a longer course that will take the pros about an hour to ride. Manny Lettenbickler is first to hit the track. He's followed by Wade Young and Tristan Hart. Tristan Hart, not on a borrowed pipe. Early on, Teo Kabachev emerges as a serious threat, charging his way into second. Then after checkpoint two, Kabachev actually matches Manny's pace. And for a brief moment, he's faster than the leader. Ashton Brightmore started fourth, but struggles in the steeps and slips in the ranks. Tricky love them. Meanwhile, Matt Green is riding strong in fifth position. Up front, the battle between the KTM rider and his Sherco competition goes down to the wire. But in the end of this riveting race, Manny crosses the finish line with the fastest time. But he only finishes an unbelievable four hundredths of a second ahead of Kabachev. Over 14 seconds back, Tristan Hart rounds out the top three, followed by Wade Young in fourth. Matt Green crosses the finish line in fifth, thrilled with his run. But there's a problem. He's destroyed his tire and doesn't have a spare. Completely on his own here without team support, Matt's now looking to make some last minute adjustments before the next race. Even asking KTM for help. It's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> The top 30 riders from earlier in the day line up to battle in five groups of six for knockout race two. Plus, one lucky amateur joins the mix after earning a spot in a last chance qualifier. With a lot at stake, the pressure is on as two riders from each group 
will be eliminated before the final knockout. The top five riders from the morning, Lettenbigler, Kabachev, Hart, Young, and Green ride in separate groups. So everybody, TKO2, Manny was the fastest, was super close with Teo just behind him. All riders riding well, tracks beat up. The guys are getting lined up for TKO2 now, so we better get on track, eh? It's a dead engine start. And the first row of five chart from the gate. Taking on FIM points leader Lettenbickler is no easy task, which makes it all the more surprising when junior championship leader Mitch Brightmore oh, that was lovely. He's out of there. See you in a bit. Starts the race outgunning his German rival. Other row one riders like Jordan Ashburn and Francesc Moret-Clata are also posting strong times, keeping the pressure on at the front. But as the race progresses, the mighty Manny finds his second wind and secures the best time in the group. What a cool cat that man is. He's a cool cat. In row two, home turf heroes Ryder LeBlonde and Cody Webb are putting on a strong show. And Graham Jarvis makes sure he's not going to be eliminated. But in this group, it's Teo Kabachev taking the top time by only six seconds in his group. Oh, he's on. He will actually go on to have the best time overall in knockout two. Further back, defending TKO champ Tristan Hart battles it out with Will Riordan and Ashton Brightmore in the third row. And Hart emerges victorious as one of the fastest in the field. Tristan cruising out in front of his group. The fourth row sees a showdown between two top contenders. Wade Young sitting second in the FIM Championship after gaining two points in the hot lap, battles with Mario Roman, who's trailing just behind him. And Young will also come out ahead with a better time in this race. In the final group, Matt Green is still in contention despite earlier bike issues. And up front, Alfredo Gomez who hasn't been at his best this season, is holding strong as the second fastest just behind American talent Colton Hager. It's been a hell of a race, but only the top 20 riders will advance to the final knockout. Just some lads chilling. <laughs> all right, gang. Is there any rock the right angle, or are they just all jagged? Every now and again, you get the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, yeah. And it's like probably 1% of the old track. It's rough, eh? Rough. Man, you can't see out in the right dust. The final knockout is 35 minutes plus one lap. And in the end, one rider will deliver the final title fight knockout blow. Happy with my result just to get on the third row in the final. Uh, we'll see what happens in the final and then just go from there. Keep pushing hard and try and tick off some rides in front of me. The five group winners from race two ready themselves at the front of the pack. From a dead engine start, they're off. The race begins with Tristan Hart surging into the lead. Manny Lettenbickler, Teo Kabachev, Wade Young, and Ashton Brightmore are right there with him. The first lap takes about six and a half minutes with a tight pack at the top and riders jostling for position. Chaos strikes early in the rock garden as Alfredo Gomez gets stuck, creating a massive pileup behind him. Matt Green capitalizes, weaving through the mess and gaining crucial spots. 
On the second lap, the tide shifts as Lettenbickler moves into the lead, overtaking Hart. Manny's gone through, Manny's in the lead. If he locks, unlocks this one, that's him, he's gonna check out, in my opinion. He starts building a small gap, but Tristan is on the chase. Behind them, another battle is brewing. That's a good one, Mario! As Mario Roman climbs from seventh to fourth, overtaking his main championship rival, Wade Young, in the process. Oh, that's getting naughty up there. Tristan's coming. Up front, in a bold move, Hart retakes the lead between laps three and four. Sending the American fans into a frenzy. But Lettenbickler stays right on his rear wheel, waiting for his moment to counterattack. Kabachev, still in third, starts to slip back. Fatigue sets in as the technical sections begin to wear riders down. Matt Green is one of the competitors who is feeling the effects of the tough track and the heat. Other riders who were expected to do well, like junior championship leader Mitch Brightmore, just aren't delivering today. However, his brother Ashton Brightmore continues an outstanding ride in fifth. The one junior hanging tough with the front runners. As the race grinds on, the pressure is mounting. Defending TKO champ Hart is holding on to the lead. He wants this win bad. Here's your leaders, Tristan's in front. But Lettenbickler is clawing at his heels just a few seconds back. Behind Teo Kabachev now has a new challenger for third, Wade Young. Teo just adjusted his levers. Wade's closed in on him. Definitely gonna have a do in this next bit. Oh, he's giving him a bit of throttle. One mistake from Teo. Wade's on him, and I think he knows it. And then Young pulls ahead at a critical moment. Meanwhile, after a risky move at a technical uphill, Mario Roman is falling further behind. And with each position lost, so too go his hopes of catching Young in the championship. They enter the final lap. And that's when Manny Lettenbickler makes his move. There's Tristan, there's Manny. He guns it past Tristan Hart, taking control of the race. It's there! It's there! No way! I'll pay the go! One more lap! The fans cheer as the leaders enter the final stretch. They're neck and neck. It's a nail-biter right down to the finish. But Manny Lettenbickler wins yet another race after a fiery battle with Tristan Hart. Tristan settles for second after giving it everything he has. Wade Young has a great race and crosses the line in third. Joe Kabachev finishes behind him in fourth. And Ashton Brightmore is the junior of the hour with a fantastic fifth place finish. <laughs> Man, give it a fist pump, dude. I'm so tired. I felt pretty, pretty last week, so I didn't expect that because Tristan was riding unbelievably good and I knew that he's super hungry for this win, but unbelievable, so really, really happy. I pushed as hard as I could, I did my best. Um, yeah, it was a good race. I paced myself. A couple of mistakes in the beginning and then kind of figured the track out and just realized that we just need a chill bit. Tristan and uh, Manny rode really well. They were about two steps above us, so yeah. 
I don't know it was, if it was me, if it was my technique or the suspension for the rocks, but I felt like I was fighting a lot with the bike, not, not flowing so much. Then made a lot of mistakes on the uphills and uh, lost the third place. And I'm finally fourth, so uh, yeah, I have to work more. Final went so good. Uh, starting from row three, pulled through nice. We got pulled with some front boys and then battled a bit with sixth and fifth. Then yeah, just managed to come around the last lap in fifth and just, yeah, so happy to just get a top five in the top class. Here are the final results from another insane Red Bull TKO. Manny Lettenbickler is first, Tristan Hart is second, and Wade Young is third. With this win, Lettenbickler now sits at a commanding 90 FIM points. But Young remains close, just nine points back in second, extending the gap over Roman in third. Kabachev, Brightmore, and Green hold steady in fourth, fifth, and sixth, respectively. Up next, get ready for the crucial penultimate race of the championship. The legendary Sea to Sky in Turkey. This 15th edition promises beachside battles and mountain mayhem. Don't miss round six of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship on Red Bull TV.